Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. You know, looking at Hebrews chapter 11, we see a variety of powerful examples of faith. But I want you to take a moment and really think about this. How often do you put your hope into what is beyond the view of your eyes? Think about that, because I know it's tough. How often do you put complete trust into what you can't see? Having total belief that it will come true? Probably not often. The confidence in what we hope for and the absolute belief that it will be Surrendering complete obedience to do God's will, that's faith. And the most amazing part of it is that the presence of God moves in mighty ways even when we display the smallest ounce of faith. Because it's not about the amount of faith we have, but the genuineness of the faith that we display. As Jesus said in Luke 17 verse 6, if you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and they would obey you. The problem comes in when we stumble over our own doubt, constantly being tripped up again and again by our fear. Saying that we believe, yet doubting in our mind and heart that it will be. I can't speak for you, but I've been guilty of that on numerous occasions. I've prayed to the Lord to give me strength in those situations and to help my unbelief. Inasmuch, it requires being humble and obedient to God while placing our faith in Him, knowing that He will do exactly as He says. For Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, that without faith it is impossible to please God for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him it's by faith that throughout history we've seen God's people move it was by faith that Abel offered a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain did to God and he was commended as righteous by God it was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without seeing death because God had taken him. It was by faith that Noah being warned by God concerning events that was to come built an ark which allowed him to save his entire household. That was faith. It was by faith that Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. Faith. It was by faith that Sarah was able to conceive. Get this, even though she was past the age of conception. Even though she was past the age of conception, she was able to conceive. And you know why? Because the text said she considered him faithful who had promised. When we demonstrate unwavering belief, and what will be, even if it doesn't occur in our lifetime, that's faith. By faith, Abraham offered up Isaac when he was tested, believing that even if he had taken his son's life, that God was able to raise him from the dead. Man, that's faith. By faith, Isaac invoked future blessings on Jacob and Esau. The Bible says that it was by faith that when Jacob was dying, he blessed each of the sons of Joseph. It was by faith that Joseph, at the end of his life, made mention of the exodus of the Israelites and gave directions concerning his bones. Operating in faith. It was by faith that when Moses was born, he was hidden for three months by his parents. And it was by faith that when Moses had grown, 
that he refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. And he chose rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. Acts of faith. Moses considered the reproach of Christ greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt. Don't you see? When we look forward to what was promised and have no doubt that it will be, we operate in faith. By faith, the people cross the Red Sea as on dry land. On dry land. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. By faith. By faith, Rahab, the prostitute, did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had given a friendly welcome to the spies. These are acts of faith. These are people of God displaying faith. By faith, we see the mighty hand of God moving as he guides protects and blesses his people. By faith, we receive the gift of salvation offered through Jesus Christ. And it's by faith that we live our lives for the glory of God. Blessings.